And a welcome to those of you just joining us today on MLB Network. Now You've batting. come to us at the no right time. Field. Trey Mancini Trey. may be looking to go Trey. deep here Trey. as he and his team trail by one here in the ninth. From the stretch. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Now the Tigers have some action in the bullpen as a left-hander starts to get loose. The 1-0. Line drive to left. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. The O's are a team that have certainly had their struggles of late. And for more on that, let's send it down to Heidi Watney at field level. Well, it's no secret this team has been in a slide of late. They've admitted they're a little bit frustrated. To start rehabilitating their mojo, it's crucial they find a way to grind out a win. But when you've been dropping one game after another, that's easier said than done. So let's see if they can find a way to get a W here and stop the bleeding. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now at the plate, Eric Kratz. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I will agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch misses here to the leadoff man in the inning. The number nine hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. The 1-0. Line towards center field. And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible tying run is aboard here to start the seventh. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. In is Gerardo Parra. And I think the question becomes, how much longer are they going to stick with this starter? Fatigue could very well become a factor at some point. Yeah, that's always a tough question to answer for a manager, especially when your guy's still pitching well. You've got to kind of look for some signs. Is he starting to get hit more? Here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Your attention, please. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the time Richard. run at first. Warrior. Two and one to Gerardo Parra. Here's a pop-up now, and no one will track it down. One run, eight hits, and one error in the ballgame for San Francisco. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Time run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. And it's fouled away. A one count. Here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. 
tried to get him to chase the cutter there a ball and two strikes. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. That's the a big strike out there with not. the tying run over at first base. Yeah. Now with two outs it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Just off the outside and it's one and oh. One ball and one strike to the Giants first baseman. You know they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And this sails right over Davis's head. And now oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Well this is a costly mistake to say the least. It's a dead ball situation. That means those runners automatically move up to second and third. Not helping your cause very much when your heirs are putting guys into scoring position. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Hey I have no problem with that take right there. Reliever coming in. You haven't seen this guy for a while. Gives yourself a chance to calibrate what he's got. Behind 0 and 2 now. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 and 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. Fouled off. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And they take the lead as this is in for a base hit. You know, it's awfully difficult to score runs late in a game after being Up down by one guy. zero. That base hit drives it in two. That's a huge Up base hit. What a momentum Bend swing. Up. What an A-B right there. Now you got to grab your leather and go out You're and flash right. some D for the boys. Pablo Sandoval stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Mancini on the move. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Longoria rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score, and they now lead by two. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there. To not Brandon. only get a ribby knock, Walker. but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Ball one to start the at-bat. Yeah. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. And it's one and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Mancini is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So Here's Mark Trumbo now. No Leading hits off. to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of hitter. this game, they're only down no. by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Hey, this guy's pitching pretty well as we're rolling into the late innings. It's interesting, though. His first pitch strike percentage, less than 40% so far in this one. One ball, one strike to count. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Trying to send him packing for the second time. 
Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. And a good ball idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. And it's one and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Swinging a soft liner and that'll get down for a two out single. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Man he got the front foot down right there the kept the front shoulder the right top and was able to stay right. inside that ball for a soft Man. liner in the center field. Junior. Into the box, Dwight Smith Jr. And he fouls this one off. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here it comes, 0-2. And another foul ball. Ruiz, the runner at first with two gone. Runner goes for second. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Duggar's there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Orioles. Still down by a... So coming to the plate, Kevin Pillar. He'll start Giants. us off in the, the eighth. Center fielder, number one, Kevin Pillar. Pedro Arajo has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 38, Pedro Arajo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. A wind up and the 0 1. Nope. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Two and one, the count to Pilar. Now the 2 1. Swing and a liner. Foul. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. 
classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Steven Duggar comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. A swing and a ground ball to third. On to Davis at first and there are two away. Now batting. Now in the box. Eric Kratz. Eric Kratz. He's got a hit in three right. at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Getting late. 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. Stepping up to the plate, Jesus Sucre. Leading off for the Orioles, the catcher, Jesus Sucre. First delivery to him on the way. Line to the right side. But an atom ball right to him for the first down. Now batter. Ready now Double for ball. Baltimore. Number one. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped up. Belt able to pull this one in for route number two. The batter. At the plate, number Cedric three. Mullins. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Two out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail it here, four to two. Into the box, Gerardo Parra. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Gerardo Parra. Paul Fry enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Paul. Wow. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. A ball and a strike to the Giants' leadoff man. Ruiz trying to get there. The one two hit hard to third and that is in the left field so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. It's a great job right the there best. to get a leadoff knock. The second you got the lead you have a chance Joe. to add on in the yeah. later innings leadoff guy getting on sets the tone. Here's the first pitch to him close oh, there but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. one, and one. Fry has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. The one-two gets him swinging. He struck him out. 
pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in the perfect world. Jump ahead, 0-2, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. And that misses inside, 1-0. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1-1. One and one. A 1-1 one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. Para leads off first with one away. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. The 1 0 home hit the other way out toward right field. Smith moves over, and that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. You Will Smith please. is the man called now on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number 13, Will Smith. Jonathan Villar will be Leading the first off. one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat the from the right baseman. side of the plate here. Jonathan Villar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Duggar is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away. Now so the leadoff man gone fielder. to start the top of the Three. ninth as we take a look at league saves CD. leaders entering play. And as you see there on the graphic, his total good for fifth best in the National League. Coming to the plate now, Trey Mancini. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here comes the 0 1. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he will make it up to second as he advances on the throwing miscue. My goodness. That's a designated hitter. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the big power bat of Mark Trumbo. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Outside. A ball and no strikes. Comes back with one in there for a high strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Here's the one and one pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. On the move is Pilar. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. The relay, and he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Number 19. Now to the plate, Chris Davis. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. From the belt, kicks and deals. One and one. The one-one home. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them before. 
fouled away. Baltimore down to their final strike. And that misses two and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, another tough loss for this club as they failed.